for watching ITV News Central. Good afternoon. Police have been given more time to question a man and a woman on suspicion of murder after human remains were found in a canal in Birmingham. The body was recovered last week on Icknell Port Road in Ladywood. The victim has been identified as 39-year-old Michael Spaulding. A 33-year-old man and a 34-year-old woman were arrested yesterday morning. And a man has been arrested on suspicion of murder after an elderly woman was found dead at a house in Market Drayton in Shropshire. The woman's body was found by police this morning on Millfield Drive. The 74-year-old man is currently being questioned. Police say no one else is believed to be involved. Tributes have been made to a motorcyclist from Worcestershire who died after crashing in the Northwest 200 competition in Northern Ireland. Simon Andrews from Evesham was riding for BMW when he crashed on Saturday. He was taken into intensive care but passed away yesterday. His father praised him for his charity work. West Midlands Police and car dealerships are today launching a campaign to clamp down on thieves who drive off without paying for petrol. Police say the theft, known as bilking, costs garages tens of thousands of pounds a year and is linked to the stealing of number plates. 27 showrooms in Birmingham, Coventry and the Black Country will now fit anti-theft number plate screws to every vehicle they sell. Workers at the Birmingham-based National Express Group will be able to get a free health check thanks to a new scheme. A 15-year-old bus has been transformed into a fully equipped doctor's surgery. It will tour the group's 10 local garages, offering blood pressure, eyesight and diabetes tests to 5,500 workers. Airline Flybe will fly to eight new destinations from Birmingham Airport this winter. It's going to provide services to Oslo and Hamburg while continuing other routes that had previously only flown during the summer. It's expected an extra 100,000 passengers will use the airport as a result. Well, it's congratulations to staff at Birmingham City Council who've left their competitors green with envy after picking up a gold award at the Chelsea Flower Show for the third straight year. The council partnered with the Royal British Legion and the charity Thrive to design the First World War commemorative garden. Congratulations also to the blooming Leamington team that's also picked up a silver award. Weather for gardening? Here's Lucy Kite. What's in store for today? ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Hello. Well, after a lovely few days, the weather starts to break down from today onwards and it's going to turn a little bit cooler as well. So some heavy showers to come as we head through the rest of this afternoon. Some thundery downpours too, in between drier and brighter spells. And still, we've got fairly warm air. So it's feeling nice out there if you are in the sunshine. 22 degrees Celsius are high through this afternoon. The showers will continue for a time through this evening before gradually becoming less frequent and dying out completely by midnight. No problem with the temperatures overnight tonight. A frost-free night to come. Have a lovely day. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. That's it for the moment. I'll be back with Samina for ITV News Central at 6. From the team, have a pleasant afternoon. Bye-bye.